Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to track international stocks using the Google Finance function. It takes three easy steps to be able to track the international stocks and we're going to go through them one by one. First we can uh, delete this demo here and start a new one. So number one is what exchange is the stock listed on? So here I have eTor pulled up and we can actually filter the stocks by the exchange. And for the sake of this video, let's say we want to track Nokia. So we know it's in Helsinki. So we have the first step finished. Number two is find the exchange code to use in the function. So here is a web page uh, that has all the exchanges that are compatible with the Google Finance function. And this is the column you need to look at, the exchange code. So here's Helsinki and the stock exchange code is HEL. So we put that in here and the stock checker for Nokia is just Nokia. It's not the dot HE also, because that's just a Toros way of letting us know it's in Helsinki. But the ticker itself is just Nokia. All right. And now the last step is using the Google Finance function to pull up the price and name in this exercise. There are two different ways to use the Google Finance function, as you can see here. One is the formula with reference to the cells, and there's a formula with no references. So I'll go through both of them, how they work. Let's start with the reference to the cells. So we put in Google Finance, open up a bracket, and now we reference the exchange cell now we put an AND sign, and the AND sign con uh, combines strings. So we're combining AND with the colon, and we put another AND, and Nokia. So basically what it's saying is HEL, and then the colon, and then Nokia. Uh, uh, yeah. And then we put in another quotation marks and put price in it. And now we can close it and hit enter. So now we get the price up. And now we can do the same by doing it manually. So I'll show you with no reference to the cells. So it's Google Finance and we open up Quotation Mark right away and we write in the exchange HEL, put the colon and put the stock, which is Nokia. Then we close the quotation mark, do a comma, open new quotation marks, put price, close it, close the bracket, and it works the same. And for the name, we use the same uh, formula, just copy it, paste it here, but instead of price, we have name. And the same works for the other formula just instead of price we have name all right so i'm going to link this uh, web page in the description let me know if this works for you or if you need any help and you can let me know if you want any other tutorials because i'm always willing to help and yeah just if you like this video, please subscribe, like it, comment underneath. So until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.